I was going to tell you, you know, when I was in that logging camp in Canada? Yeah. I, one time, t t right down below, with, below where we had the bunkhouse, there was the lake. That lake was seven miles long. Yep, pa pa uh, Gordon Pasha Lake. Yeah, Gordon Pasha Lake, that seven mile long. Well, then one day, somebody, somebody killed, somebody killed a bear. They, all they wanted was the fur, you know? Yeah. Um, they left the rest of it hanging. Hey, looks like a man hanging there, you know? Yeah, yeah. They just wanted, they left that lay hanging down there. And I went to the cookhouse, got me a big can, you know, a big, a big metal can. And, and uh, I got my big knife and I went down there. And there was layers that thick of fat on that bear, you know? Like, like three, four inches thick? Yeah. Great big thing, three inches thick, all fat, you know. So I cut a bunch of strips off of that fat, put it in my can, took my can up to the bunkhouse, and then, an the evening, you know, we had a good fire going in the stove. I put that can on the stove. I want to start to melt it down, you know? Yeah. And, and uh, them guys, oh, get that stink out of here, you know? It smelled a little bit. Oh, get that stinking out of here. Shit, I left it on anyway, you know. Yeah, yeah. I rinsed it out good and, and then afterwards, oh, the son of a gun, they all want to put my bear grease to grease the boots. Oh, they wanted bear grease for their boots. Oh, yes, after that, they all wanted my bear grease. <laughs> yeah, that was different then, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was it was a big bear, you know. You can fat on it that big. They they, they and up there too. They had lots of berries. There were lots of uh, lots of lots of uh, not all the berries. Uh, oh, the huckleberries, huckleberries. We had a lot up mm, there. Yeah. I eat a lot of them. Yeah. The 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 the, the blue. There's some blue ones and some red ones. Yeah. The deer see them too. The deer see see them too. Yeah, yeah. They 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 get about oh they get about this high, you know, something like that. I eat a, I eat a lot of them. Anyway, yeah, the bear, the bear they eat good, you know. And one time on 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 a, on a Sunday it didn't work, and so I went I went on a hike by myself. I by myself, I went on a hike, and then I walked way up, up the lake, and then, and then I made a great big circle, and, and, and then I had to go back down, a, down to the camp again, and there was a, there was a road there, a road there, and I walked up a pretty good road, no logging road. And, and I walked down that room, that uh, my big pile of shit there. First I couldn't figure out what the hell that was, you know. But after a while I thought I figured it out, that was burst. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, in the road. Did you keep following it? Huh? Did you keep following it? I keep falling on, on down. But then I came to a place where they dumped all the rubbish from camp. Ah. And then, by golly, I kept on a walking, and, and by gosh, all at once there was a bear in the middle of the pile where they dumped the rubbish, a, black, a big black bear. <laughs> oh, and I didn't have no gun with me, no nothing. I, I just buttoned up my coat and got my pocket knife out. <laughs> That's all I had. Yeah. Um, then, then, Did, don't tell me you killed it with your bare hands. Huh? Did you kill it with your bare hands? Yeah, I couldn't. I don't know, but but uh, I. Did you box it? Huh? Did you box it? I I didn't let the, he. After I I walked by real slow, and then and then he went. He just went a little bit into the brush, and that was all. Okay. He didn't let. He left me alone. He didn't let. But it was a good sized bear. He was. You know, they, they dumped the rubbish from the camp. They dumped the rubbish there, you know. Yeah. Then I then I walked on down and then, then I had quite a way, so I had to walk back into camp again, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I didn't have no gun then or nothing. I had nothing. That's what, yeah, there's bears up there. Yeah. 
Ja, und, und Bravli Kugels, du am Schor. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Ja, ja. Yeah. Und dir, but the bear. Ja, und, und one time, I, I even made some pictures of it. The, the, a bunch of deers, they came right down the cookhouse. The, the, the cook, the cook, they, they feed them, they feed them apples and whatever they had, you know, they get right out of their hand. All right in camp. Wow. Und one time, it was on the evening, I had to share the bunkhouse with a, with a young Italian, you know. I was, I was sleeping already and there's Herman. Herman, there's a bear outside. I have no bear outside. And then finally I went out there and looked. Well, sure as there was, there was a, one of them black bears right, right across from the door to cook house. He, he, there was uh, garbage cans, you know. He was rooting around in that, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> I, I, I got up and, uh, I didn't even put my pants on. I got up and on the way out, I took a big chunk of wood with me, you know, and I got out there and, and I, I throwed it at that bear. And you know, the son of a gun got, got right up on his hind feet like that. Oh, yeah, he stood up like a man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was going to fight me, you know. He, he got right on up on his hind hind, you know. What the hell with it? And I went back in the bunkhouse again. <laughs> So he won that night. Huh? He won. He won that night. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This nice country up there. I wonder whether they have a road up there by now. There was no road up there from out of Vancouver. You, they put you... When I went to that, to that um, logging camp, that was on a, that was on a Saturday, Cordova Street. Mm. In Vancouver, there was one one office after another. There was lo one log one logging office after another, and about thirty guys scooting around in there. They they, they didn't want to work. They just they scooting around, and, and and then I walked up to the counter and I uh, and I want to chop in the woods. I said, you know, and and. Uh, well, the minute I open my mouth, he touched the foreigner. They, they like them, boy. They like, they cause they work. Mm. These guys out there, they just work enough to get a bottle of beer, a bottle of booze, and they're gone again. They, um, 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 in that camp, every week, about, about 30 new men came up. Um, they was never always about the same. Some of them, some of them got canned. Some of them got hurt. Some of them quit themselves. Mm. Yeah, and the, and, the, and the foreigners, they like them. Because, because, How long did you work in that camp for? Uh, I, 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 work, I, I work, oh, about two, three months. About three months. See? Uh, and why'd you quit? Because they shut the camp down. Oh. The snow already like that. Oh, okay. Snow already. I mean, we were, they were still logging, had a bunch of snow, you know. And, and, and sometimes, you know, when you, when you pull a turn out, hang a turn on, sometimes you got to hang up and then you got to go fight and hang up. Yeah, yeah. And the, the hooker there one time, he, Herman, you're going to get killed before Christmas. That was, a, that was the beginning of December. Yeah. Herman, you're going to get killed before... I was, I was under there, and, and that maybe sometimes I take chances I shouldn't have, you know. So you went to turn the hangs up, and you got a, you got a chain, take the whole choker loose, and, and, and take it around, and so, you know, fight that hang up, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and then... I was thinking it was the 8th of December. They, they, they shot the camp down. Yeah. And then, no, oh, in the morning they, they, they give you breakfast and then you go down to the dock, you know, down, down to the dock and then they take you with the boat down, down to, down to the ocean, you know, the right, right at the, right at the dock, you know, they take you down there and, and then, and then you put on the, on a Canadian Pacific steamer. Mm. I was on that boat and it takes a three hour ride back to back to Vancouver. 
Okay. Three hour ride. And all the way on that, I was seasick in a son of a gun. Oh, really? Oh, God, man. I laid on the floor puking, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's unbelievable. The three hour ride, and then I came back to Vancouver at night, you know. And another time there before I got got up there, I had a chop. I, I got me a chop for a farmer. He had a bunch of, for a dairy farm, he had a bunch of cows. And, and uh, oh, he just, he just needed a kid to do shop, you know. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't like that. And then, and then one, one evening, at dinner time, you know, it was dark already then, those evening, I said, I want to quit. I want to go down to California to my uncle. I said, um, um, the sucker, he didn't like that, you know. And, um, um, then he says, says, why don't you go right now? Had to, had to walk about, oh hell, had to walk a good hour to the rail, to the bus station in, in the, in the town, you know. Yeah, yeah. Had to walk there. But, but, but I made it, and then he wanted to shortchange me. He made me a check, and then, it, the check wasn't big enough. It's too short. I chopped it right back to him. I told him that's not enough, you know. He made me out another check. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Well, then the, did, he the, know, did he know he shortchanged you? Huh? Did he know he shortchanged you? Oh, yeah, sure. He knows it. He knows it. Well, then, well, then I had the, the, the bunkhouse I had there. The, 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 it was a, a milker. The milker. The milker, and he said, oh, these people can't keep nobody. That's what the milker told me. Uh, these guys can't keep nobody. But then I had to, I had to, I had a suitcase and my stuff, and that then I had to walk all the way in, in the town to, to, to a bus station, and then right, right back to Vancouver. I was probably about midnight, I came back into Vancouver. Okay. You know? Now, where were your parents living at the time? They had an apartment in Vancouver. Okay. Yeah, they lived there in Vancouver. Yeah, and, and yeah, yeah, and yeah, and then after after that, I got that job for them for them bricklayers, and I had to mix the mortar and carry the bricks and the mortar to them. Oh, okay. Well, at the at the first, they start at the basement and then they work up at the first. It was all right, I could handle it, but pretty soon I had to carry the bricks and the mortar up the ladder, up to, up to the roof, you know. I could never keep up with them that way. Oh. I couldn't keep up with them. And boy, it was on, on a Saturday, on a, on a, I think it was, yeah, it was on a Friday. And I stayed with my parents then there. I told my mother, I'm not going to go back to them son of a guns no more Monday for nothing. <laughs> and then... And then on Saturday morning... How old, how old were you? Huh? How old were you? Oh, I don't know, about 22, something like that. Okay. I, I was pretty strong them days. Yeah, yeah. Man, I, I wasn't baby, you know. And then I on Saturday morning, I went down down uh, Cordova Street. And like I told you, there was one logging af uh, office after another, you know. They all looking for people hiring for, for the logging camps. Yeah. I went, the first one I came to, I want to oh, I want to chop in the woods, you know. The minute you open my mouth, well, that's a foreigner, you know. They took out his book, signed me up. And then the next morning on Sunday, I, they, they sent me down to the dock, you know, they sat by the boat where all the boats are. Yeah, yeah. And, and they, they, they gave me a ticket and everything for, 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 uh, for the logging camp. Oh, okay. I still remember that it was O'Brien Logging Company. Yeah. O'Brien. Yeah, yeah. And then and they put me on the dock and then, and then a three-hour ride. There, there's no road up there. The only way you get up there was was uh, uh, along the coast with the boat. There's no ro no road up there at all. Hmm. But they might have by now, I suppose. I don't know. But it, it's a, it's a beautiful cult, 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 similar to similar to the coast range here. Okay. Similar. Oh yeah. One time on on, on a weekend on a I think on a Saturday might it was. We we made a trip that there was a 
A German kid was there too. Und da Italien, das steht in meinem Bankhaus, da Italien und mir und da German kid, wir waren an einem Trip. Ja, aber ich hätte Schnur Schno already up there, that way. Oh, about two feet tall. Ja, oh, 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 but like that, we had Schnur up there. 18 inches. We went on a hike, way the hell up, beautiful country. Man, as far as you can see, nothing but mountains and lakes in between, you know. Und, und Timber, all Timber, all Timber. Spruce, Spruce und Hemlock. Okay. Spruce und Hemlock und some Alder in between. Ja, we went on that hike. Oh, that, I remember that. I had some pictures, but I, I, I think Tony might have them. Ja, that beautiful country up there. Und then they had, they had a, Uh, a, a skater similar to like what they had, what we had here. Okay. The, uh, had a big spar tree, and, 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 and then they, they, pulled, they pulled the logs in, you know. Yeah. And, I was, and, and when I came up there, they put me on the choker crew. They put me on the choker crew. Yeah. They didn't, they didn't have no powder monkey up there. Oh, okay. oh, no, when it's on by a big log, you know, lay on the ground, you can't find a hole to choke it on. You have to dig a hole till you finally get a hole. Oh. But up here, Timber Speaker, it was, it was cheaper to hire a powder monkey than it is have to loot the crew sitting there till they have a hole. Oh, okay. So, so, yeah, here here they hired a powder monkey. First we had had an old guy, old John, Old John, he was the powder monkey. He always, he always walked around. Had about about three, four primers in his pocket, you know. Yeah. One stick and then electric primers used to, for that we used electric primers. See, but three here, three in the ash pocket. Then then he comes to the fire, backs his ash up to the fire with his primers in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember that. Old John. And then, I guess John quit or what the hell happened. Anyway, then I took over the job for a while. I took it over the job. I thought, oh, it's probably a little easier than setting chokers. And, <clears throat> oh, I, I had, I had, I had a good time, you know. Und, und, Was it easier? Oh, yeah, it's a lot easier to walk around, but, but, But I didn't like get that headache. Oh, you told me about oh, that. Oh, son of a gun. You get, you see, when you shoot a hole, then you have to go make sure that, that, that the hole is through, you know. Otherwise, you have to give it another charge. And, <clears throat> and, uh, oh, then you get the Danish headache, you know. And then overnight, it kind of eases off. But the next day, you just get it that much quicker. It the nitroglycerin from the smoke. Right, right. Oh, son of a gun, man. And then, and then, yeah, yeah, then finally I, I, I figured the hell with quit, you know. Yeah, and then the way we did it, see, you got a long log. You got, I got a long log like this room or so. And then you need a hole on one end. Right. You take the bar, you always carry a, carry a metal bar about this long. Metal bar, and then, and then you make a, You make a hole under it and put one stick, sometimes two sticks in there. And then we had, we used, then we used electric wire, electric primer. Mm -hmm. And then we put the, put the charge under it, one or two sticks. And then you take the lead wire and throw it on the other end. And then you stand the other end, then you stand on top of the lock. Stand right on top of the lock and then the charge. Over there, the church blows both ways, rocks and ship fly both ways, and you put it safe over there, you know. Yeah, yeah. But but one time, one time it didn't work that way. There was a right alongside that. That happened up here at the coast range here, up here. How uh, old were you then? Oh, I don't know, a couple of years old. Oh, before you were married? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, but anyway, that one time there was a small hemlock. Right, right along the big log, right along the big log. And when I set off my charge over on that end, that son of a gun upended 
Bob bended and hit me in the head on that other end. Hit me in the head. Kiff, kiff my tin head in about like that. Und, und didn't hurt my head, nothing, but my foot. Oh, son of a gun, I couldn't hardly walk. And then the next morning I couldn't walk at all. So I hobbled into Bosch, into Hillsborough, and got the deck straight. And then the doctor said, nothing broken. Nothing was broken, but spra sprained. Mm. I was limping around with that for three months. Wow. For three months. I went to work anyway, but, but there was days I wasn't work much. Really, they left me alone anyhow. Yeah, yeah. They left me alone. And, 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 uh, yeah, and, uh, yeah, they, 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 they left me alone. And, and, <coughs> but I didn't want it. I didn't want it anymore. Any more powder monkey? Yeah, then I remember when I was powder monkey there. There, there was a, there was a big, double, double, double tree there. Great big double stump, big son of a gun. And and the the the, the logs hanged up on that all the time. The shit that came through there, and then they hanged up. And then come the boss one evening. I want that stump out by morning. Yeah. Great big son of a gun, double three, you know. Did you have it out by morning? Yeah, yeah. I had it out by morning. He helped me. He helped me load them up. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He helped me load them up. You know how we did that? How? He, he brought a long bar along, a long metal bar about from here to the, to the stove, long metal bar. He made a hole under it, a hole under it, and put one stick down, only one stick. Oh, only one. Only one. And then put the bar, the bar right on top of it. See? But then, but, yeah, and then we set it off, you know. Just one stick. Yeah, yeah. And, and then what that, what that one stick did, made, made a hole underneath the stump about, you know, about like that. Um, um, About the size of a barrel. Yeah, made a big hole like that. And then, and then we loaded it up by the long bar. But that, but when you set it off, you have to leave. You have to leave the long bar in there. Oh, okay. Leave it in there. And then we set it off. And then. But that one stick did under there made a cavity about about like so. Oh, okay. And then and then we loaded it up. And then we put put the whole the whole box under there, the whole thing. He sent he sent a he had a box coming back on the rigging, you know. Oh, the, so he wanted a whole, he didn't want to mess with it again. No, 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 no. That was a one thing. And he put the put the put the a whole box we put under that stump. Oh wow. A whole box, everything. Everything. And then the, then, uh, but then, but then we couldn't use electric primer because we we you would need it too much cord, you know. Oh, so, got you. So we used the regular, regular fuse. See, put a whole whole book string of pump fuse in there, and then we went down to the donkey, to the to the skater, to the machine, and them guys were they were guy was working on that machine that night, you know, and then. Went down there, told them guys, you see up there, that big stump up there, that's going to go pretty soon, you know. And then they stood there, looked and looked and looked. No, didn't go, didn't go, but all at once, pow. Oh, and it went? All at once she went, you know. They didn't go up there anymore that night, but by morning, by morning, the stump was gone, or the big hole there. Yeah, yeah, I bet a whole the whole box of dynamite. Oh yeah, the whole box we put under every bit. That's where I the empty boxes. That's where I got these empty boxes here. No, that's that's from the from the. That's a B one, but I know what you're talking about. I've yeah, seen yeah, you've seen them around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, on the, the next morning, there was nothing but a big hole there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The powdered monk man, he said. He always, he always counted, counted how many guys are supposed to come through there. He, he, he had a charge in there. He wanted to set off. See. Oh, okay, okay. And, and then, he counted the guys when they, 
uh, when when they went went through there, how many guys that supposed to come for the bank house so to make sure that all of them were through. Yeah. And then, and then one day, he they, they were all he counted the men that spoke like oh they were all through there. So he he led his charge. And then. A little, a, a little while later, about the time the charge supposed to go off, another guy come walking through there. Oh, he about pants, you know. And then, and then, that that guy went that went through there. That, that was that that was the boss's son. Oh no, the boss's son, and he he came walking through, and then he heard this funny noise that that that. Uh, a funny noise, kind of a sh maybe, or what? He heard this funny noise, and then the powder monkey was was close there, and he says, "Hey, your charge didn't go off." The that, charge was the charge would have gone off with him standing right there. The, the charge would have gone should have gone off. He was right about there. Oh man! And the charge didn't go off. And oh, he, can you imagine that feeling? You know. That he, he'd have been right there when that when that church went off. Oh boy, oh boy! And he said, "Yeah, that that the, the church should have went off, you know." Yeah. And if for some reason the church, the church didn't go, oh son of a gun! Yeah, that was the that was the boss's son. <laughs> and another time, they them lokis could pull a hell of a load. I was. You 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 seen up here them in the camp dirt eighteen them them uh, them coaches what they haul the men up. Yeah. I was on on them son of a gun three times when they jumped the track. Three times I was on one of them when they jumped the track. Oh yeah. What do you do? Hold on for the ride? Yeah, well, you just hang on and and the the the, the hind gangs got crossed. They go, that way down the road. Pretty soon they figured it out and then they stopped, you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 You guys have firewood? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. A whole wheelbarrow. Oh, you got a whole wheelbarrow? Yeah. Alright, well, then stack it up, boys. Oh, I'll turn the porch light on for you. Stack it up nice and neat, okay? Yeah, this, this book here. You got this is a book like no other. Son of a gun, I'm telling you. That that's how it was in the olden days. Then they used they you first they used uh, first they used oxen and horses and oxen oxes. Yeah. Yeah, you read it. When you're done with it you can you can give it back to me. But but man I'm telling you you read that whole book, oh, son of a gun. There, 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 only the top one made it, otherwise. Yeah, and he built, he built a couple of canoes. They had races on the water. He built a couple of cedar canoes. He won, he won races with the Indians. Oh really? Oh son of a god. He won he won races with the Indians with, with them canoes. Yeah. And then he he got into into that uh, scaling, you know, cruising. He cruised he, he cruised timber from 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 British Columbia clear down to Northern California cruise timber. Really? And he took one man, he took one man with him, and then sometimes he was, he was gone for, he was gone for, for two, three weeks. And then everybody thought he, he was lost or came, didn't come back anymore. And then he come back and he had cruised all the timber and figured out how to get the timber out, see? That was another thing. He figured out how to how to get where to put the railroad crates and all that, you know? That's that was a movement. And they and they came they came from from Switzerland before the First World War broke out. See, in the Switzerland, everybody belongs to army, if you like it or not. And when the First World War broke out, 
they, they, they knew they had to go to the army, so he told his wife, why don't we go to America, you know? Oh, OK. Start, oh, they ended up in Washington, you know. He got, he, he, and, and how, how, they got a homestead. They, they, got, they got a homestead up there. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, it's a thing, how they, how they got that, that's another thing. And then he started clearing land, 180 acres he had. He started clearing land, took him about, I don't know, a couple of years, he'll deal to get enough for a garden patch and all, and the rest was all them pocket out big timbers. And then one day, one day his neighbour came over, his neighbour came over and said, you know, if you could get these locks in the water and get them floating to a sawmill, you would get some need of cash, you know. Yeah. And then he, he, he started doing that, and by golly, that that made him decide that pays a lot better than farming. He was 10 years old. He told his dad, Dad, I need a gun. I got to have a gun, you know. Yeah, because there was, oh, there was a lot of game out there. Um, 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 salmon, he said, some places they could walk across the backs of the salmon. They yeah. had so many fish up there too. Yeah, yeah. Fishing, even the dog, even the dog did fishing. Even the dog got pulled them out. Yeah, they had they, uh, three boys. They were three boys born. And the grandmother lived there. Yeah, when he was 10 years old, he told his dad, I need a gun, I need a gun, you know. And the, he says, yeah, you get a gun, but you're going to earn it. You know how they earned it? How? <coughs> Cos Bark, we used to do that here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cos Bark, they pilk and they made many gunny sacks full of Cos Bark, and how, that's how he earned his first gun. Oh, wow. And then, and then he found out that they, they, they had a lot of, oh, I don't know, squirrels he was shooting, and that gun was too big for what he needed it. So he got a... There was a trader coming around once, once in a while, a trader with two horses, a pitcher in there, or two. Okay. And, and he traded that big gun with a with smaller one. I think he got a shotgun there from that guy. And, 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 and the others, he said, they still have it. They hunted all, they hunted all their, all their life, they hunted. Yeah, yeah, you, you got to lead the book. Hunt. All right, well, that's a wrap for tonight. I hope you enjoyed all those stories. This one I know, here. he's got tons of them.